Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is me, The Tsukhafato, and today I'm going to be answering a question that I've gotten a couple of times on this channel. And actually, it's like two questions, but they're kind of related. So I'm going to be answering everything in this video. So the one question is, will AI replace software engineers? And the other question is, is it still worth learning how to code in 2024? So if you want to find out all the answers, do stay tuned. And I really hope you enjoy this video and find it helpful. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you still have any other questions drop them in the comment section and let's not waste any more time let's just get into it a few months back i did a video about chat gbt and i showed how you can make a website using chat gbt in like five minutes and that was actually my first time ever like trying out chat gbt so like that's how easy it is and there are so many other AI tools that exist. I also recently found out about Devon AI, which is the first ever um, AI software engineer. And it's like way, way more advanced than like um, ChatGPT when it comes to coding. And it actually even learns from like its mistakes. I actually don't know much about it. So do research like Devon AI if you want to find out more about that. But now back to the question. So after saying all these things, will AI replace software engineers? My short answer is no, so stay tuned so that I can actually, you know, explain myself. Um, I use, uh, so I'm a software engineer, if you guys don't know, like, <laughs> I talk a lot about that on this channel. But yeah, so I use uh, ChatGPT like every single day as part of my job, but also just in like my personal life. So I think AI tools can be really like, um, can really assist you in becoming like more productive and doing your job better. So I like to use ChatGPT just to, you know, when I have errors in my code, just solving those errors, um, you know, coming up with solutions, seeing why things are not working, if there's ways I can improve my code. So I really like that and that, you know, that now we have a tool that's available to help us. And yeah, I also just use it in my personal life, whether I am like drafting an email, coming up with a video script. Was this video written by AI? I guess we'll never know. <laughs> but yeah, so things like that, I think it can really help like just, you know, day-to-day -day tasks. But I think uh, something that people just need to be, especially if you're learning how to code and you're still pretty new to this, I think really try to stay away from these tools because I think what it takes away is like you learning the basics. Like yes, it can help you out with a lot of things. You can get things done, but like sometimes you're going to get to those problems when you really have to know how things actually work. So that's why I think that um, AI won't replace us like software engineers just yet because to be to actually use those tools you actually have to have some like sort of understanding of like how these things actually work so you can actually make use of what this AI is giving to you so if you're learning how to code in 2024 I still think the basics are really really important and that's why I really like you know platforms like Brilliant which is actually the sponsor of today's video and yeah so Brilliant uh, really teaches you the basics they have so many different courses uh, from math to data analysis programming and AI you know and yeah I'm currently I'm currently learning programming with Python and you know I chose I chose Python because I'm like if AI does replace us one day maybe I'll be the one that wrote it because <laughs> if you guys don't know like Python really stands out in the forefront when it comes to you know AI programming but yeah I really like how it really teaches you like the basics like I'm currently learning about numbers and strings in Python, which, you know, sometimes you just think like, ah, I just want to get over this. I want to learn the like important things or whatever, but it's all important. I think just knowing like literally from the ground up and what's really great about Brilliant is how interactive it is. You just start off like, you know, just while you're learning, you're doing like a little exercise. So you, while you learn, you're already practicing. So I really like that about Brilliant. And if you guys want to try it out, you can use my code, uh, my link which is brilliant.org slash I'll also leave it in the description and this link will give you a 30-day free trial and it will also give you 20% off the annual subscription so do give it a try but yeah I think um, AI there are many tools that exist and it has come a really long way but I think it still has a long way to go before it can replace us and yeah um, I think also for the question of you know is it still worth learning how to code in 2024 
it's also like what what's the reason behind you learning how to code you know because i personally really enjoy coding because it involves so much like problem solving so i really enjoy like you know sitting down and and some days i'm like oh why is the problem not being solved but most days like you know just sitting down coming up with a solution and then finally actually you know implemented that solution and it actually works and you're like wow i did that so you know i enjoy that whole process of you know solving the problems and i think it's also great i know people probably don't usually say this but i think in coding you can actually get like really creative whether it's in like you know like ui and the stuff like that but also in the way you decide to solve the problem because sometimes there's so many different ways to do a certain thing but when you actually sit down and think like hmm actually what's the best way to solve this problem and you know taking your time to think and understand and do all of that so i think you know it's not just about i, th I know that programming now 2024 it's like it's hyped out ai is hyped out but i think once again it's always important to like take a step back and think like oh why do i actually want to learn this and i think that will also help you answer that question about like is it worth learning if it's really something you want to learn uh then yes it is worth learning and AI, will AI replace us? I don't think it will replace us just yet. But yeah, I think it's really great. Uh, it's a great tool. It's great to learn about AI. It's great to see how far we've come because it's like, I can't believe I just have this tool that I use every day to help me with the most like random things. I should probably be using less of like ChatGPT, but maybe I should actually pay for it and see what else it can do. That could be actually be good for another video. Do you want me to do that? <laughs> we can try that and explore it together the same way we, uh, we explored ChatGPT the first time. But yeah, I think uh, AI is really great currently for developers. It really helps me with my productivity. It speeds me up and sorry to say it, like, Stack Overflow is not seeing me as <laughs> as often as it used to because of ChatGPT. But yeah, that's what I think about AI and learning how to code in 2024. So yeah, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you want to try out Brilliant, use my link. It is brilliant.org slash And yeah, that is it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. I'm gonna